Hi, this is me. My name is Tony and 11 years ago I left the UK to travel around the world. I left the UK in the summer of 2011 on my motorbike, a Honda Transalp 650cc. As you can see, I packed way too much stuff. But even with all that preparation, I still left the UK alone with no insurance, no visas, no GPS, no sponsors and no carnet de passage. Just uh, a year's worth of savings and a rough idea of what route I wanted to take to go around the world. To make my budget last as long as possible, I'd spend my nights wild camping in the countryside along the road. When I visited cities, I used couch surfing as much as possible. This not only helped me to save some money, but also allowed me to meet some really cool people all around the world. But why did I leave the UK to travel around the world alone? Well, I'd never really been that interested in travel until I spent a year doing charity work in Tanzania when I was 21 years old. My experiences living in Africa really opened my eyes to the possibilities of travel. I really enjoyed finding common ground with people who had a completely different background than myself, as well as seeing all the beautiful landscapes, animals and plants that were so different from back home. A lot of the best experiences that I've had have been down to the great people that I've met along the way. Once you start travelling overland, you start to get into the overlanding community. And I've seen so many animals through Africa, Australia, and Southeast Asia. I swam with dolphins, turtles, sharks and manta rays and I've snorkeled on some of the most beautiful coral reefs. But it hasn't all been sunshine and roses. I've also had some illnesses and injuries along the way. I had a small crash in Namibia which left me with a fractured rib and broken bone in my hand. I also had malaria and bilharzia while I was in Malawi. I got scabies when I was in Australia, but luckily I didn't get coronavirus. <laughs> I spent around five months exploring Europe in 2011, then traveled down through Africa from 2011 until 2013. At this point, my budget was getting a bit low, so I sold my motorbike and flew to Australia. I worked and traveled around Australia from 2013 until 2014. Then I was lucky enough to get some sponsorship in the form of my bicycle, which I took with me as I headed into Southeast Asia. Eventually getting trapped in Vietnam through the coronavirus lockdowns, now I'm moving again as I've brought my bicycle with me to South America. I wrote a blog during my trip through Europe, Africa, Australia and Southeast Asia. But now that I'm here in South America, I'm going to be trying to do some vlogging as well. So please like, share and subscribe to stay up to date with more photos and videos as I continue to travel through South America.